I'm Josh with uh, Maximum Defense. I'm just gonna go over some of our products we got. Uh, right here, I'm holding our, demonstrating our HK416 accessories. So we have a short scoop and a long scoop for our rail system. Has uh, plenty of slots available for M-Lock. Uh, your QD mounts at your 45. Um, like going back to what I said with the short long scoop. So depending on what type of muzzle device you have, a brake, a uh, flash hider, um, we'll be able to facilitate with that, like I said, being a short, long, long scoop. So this having a Gemtech is a long scoop. This brush can fit right underneath or in between the rail. And then we have a uh, short scoop over there uh, for your Surefire flash hiders. Um, our bread and butter is our PDW stocks. So we have a manual rapid deployment. Uh, when guys were wanting to get out of the vehicle or a confined area to be able to deploy that stock quickly. So, Pretty simple, you just come underneath the stock, yank out, locks in place. We have, uh, for the PDW stocks, we have uh, set screws, uh, multiple set screws. Uh, therefore, if uh, the, the shooter wants to have a preset location when he deploys that stock, he can actually customize that to his liking. Um, put it back, you just press, uh, press the button here, push into the stock, closes up. Our PDW, or excuse me, AR-15 pistol brace, exactly the same thing. Our housing, exactly the same. Only difference is just that rubberized pad that's on the end. Um, also another difference between the PDW stock and the brace, we don't have the two set screws on the side here. I'll just demonstrate use on here so you guys can check that out. Grab underneath, yank out, locked in place. Uh, if we come over here, I'll show you some of the newer stuff that we have coming out. All right, so what we've got going on here is our CCS. It's our uh, compact carbine stock. So a lot of guys were wanting to have, uh, to, to, to be able to use their, their buffer and buffer spring. So when you, when you guys end up buying our, our PDW stocks and our braces, you're gonna have to use a proprietary uh, buffer and buffer spring that comes with, with those uh, products. However, we, uh, we develop, developed uh, CCS, so same action that rapid manual deployment. Um, but now you got more real estate for that cheek weld purchase and you can still use your, your mil spec standard buffer tube and whatever buffer spring buffer that you already have. Move over here to our SCW, subcompact weapon. A lot smaller than our PDW stock that we have right now. Um, change that we ended up having to do that since it's so so small is having a proprietary bolt carrier group with a buffer. So the buffer is integrated. Let's see if I can hold this. There we go. Uh, the buffer is integrated within the bolt carrier group and the spring in order to to shorten shorten the stock and the whole weapon system as a whole. Here. Uh, going back to what I was talking about before, uh, you guys just saw the, the MDX, our 416 rails. Uh, only manufacturer out there doing aftermarket accessories for the HK416, but we're also doing, we have our slimline rail system here. So it uh, doesn't have, there's a few differences between the MDX and the slimline. Slim line, we don't have the m lock at the 45 and uh, your QD mounts are actually mounted at your three and nine position. Other than that, you still have plenty of uh, real estate for your M-Lock devices, whether flashlights, uh, Ford grips, and so on and so forth. Um, you have your stabilizing wings right up on top, and then we have your proprietary barrel nut that comes with the product as well. Um, going along with that, this is actually our MDX rail. Like I said, very similar to the Slimline. But for the first time, we have our stackable Picatinny rails. So other companies out there, depending on what slots you end up or which rail systems you end up using to throw on your M-Lock, uh, you'll tend to have a gap in between, uh, between those bricks, if you will. So we're, like I said, uh, it's a stackable. We have multiple options. You can see here, this covers the entire uh, bottom rail. Um, and you have two sets right here, two sets right here. Um, the profile is a lot smaller, more lightweight than your traditional like uh, Daniel Defense rail or your standard HK416 uh, Picatinny rail system, your quad rail. Quad rail. Um, what I got going on here as well, we have our 
our new buffer systems or buffers uh, that will be available in October this year. Uh, we actually have the the weight and what kind of buffer it is engraved in there, um, and we go all the way from standard, uh, heavy standard, H1, H2, H3, and your pistol, which is uh, the large one right here, as you can tell. I'm Josh with Maximum Defense. Uh, thanks for watching.